Hi, I'm Steve Elliott with Chapel Smith, and today I want to go over bullet points on building a book of business for an insurance agent. You know, when I got into the business several years ago, um, I was 200 miles per hour wanting to build a book of business immediately and, and literally realized very quickly, slow down. Uh, there's a lot that needs to be done on the front end, and first and most importantly is putting in the time. Um, with that being said, in the beginning, I put together a very clear plan of the direction I wanted to go in as far as building my book of business, as far as uh, the type of clients, uh, the size of the client, um, just in general, how was I going to hit my goal at the end of the year as far as uh, growing a book of business. Uh, one of the most important things that probably happened to me personally in my career is having, uh, I was lucky enough to have a mentor. Uh, to follow, to bounce my thoughts off of, um, to watch him close a deal, um, to handle claim situations. Uh, that was probably, if not the strongest thing, best thing that's ever happened to me uh, in, in my career was the fact of having a mentor. Uh, for some of you agency agents that are out there now that are in a situation where maybe you're on the, the, the high end of age in the agency and perpetuation is coming through with, with new hires and things of that nature, please make it a point uh, to try to shadow these guys up uh, the very best you can. Uh, you know, let's face it, they've been there, they've done that, they've lived the, the, the hard road. Uh, and, and got a lot of success stories and they've got a lot of things to help you uh, prevent from doing from the mistakes maybe that they made. Uh, another bullet point that I wanted to mention today, focus. Uh, one of the th first things I did when I sat down putting my business plan together as far as building my book of business was I wanted 10 clients that I was specifically going to work with uh, in, in, that annual, in that period of time or in that policy period. With that being said, I didn't want to just have 10 clients that uh, were randomly picked up out of the sky. I wanted to be specific. Uh, it brings me to another bullet point, niches. Have something in mind that you want to be great at. Don't just uh, be a generalist. You know, be that guy that gets the call out of, out of the blue that's you know, from a potential client saying, hey, so-and-so told me to call you because you're an expert at what you do. Um, for those niches, what I would recommend is have diverse niches. Don't, don't try to pull uh, two or three things together and, and starting at that point, have no more than three niches, but don't have something in common with your niches. Uh, I like them to be diverse. That was where I kind of knew that if, if I had a fallout, I had some backup, so I, I like that idea of it. Uh, goal oriented. Uh, how am I going to get to my goal? How many at-bats did I need? And, and what I mean by at-bats, how many potential clients do I need to get in front of on a monthly basis? What size of client does that need to be uh, in order to hit my goal that I have for the end of the year? Uh, very, very helpful. Um, would recommend you keeping up with your, your closing percentage. If you're, if you're losing more than you're writing, you need to start asking them some questions. There's probably a common theme there. Uh, most of the time, if you're able to go back to a client and, uh, and to be honest with you, it's hard to hear the no, but then it may even be harder to find out what you did wrong, but learn from that. You know, it's a situation where if you hear the same thing in two or three different forms, but at the, at the end of the day, it's all coming to the same uh, answer from that client, then maybe you need to work on that specific skill or how you're presenting because that could make you, uh, you know, that much better. Let's say you're a couple years into your book now. Uh, you, what I'm strongly, strongly, strongly going to suggest is ask for referrals from your clients. They trust you. That's the hard part of this business is having trust or finding trust. Everybody wants everybody to say, it's okay to work with this guy. It's okay to work with this girl. I know them. They're my agent or I know them personally. I mean, let's face it. If, if I've got a, uh, you know, a business where my insurance premiums are, you know, $250,000 a year, I just, I don't want somebody cold calling me. I want to have a, a very, very professional introduction. I want somebody to tell me it's okay to work with that potential, that, that particular agent. Uh, we have great feedback from current clients uh, that the agent is, is very sufficient, uh, does a great job. I'm going to talk to you also today about uh, cross-selling. Again, go back to your book of business. 
uh, it's kind of what I call low-hanging fruit. There's a lot of opportunity uh, in several different ways. Number one, look at each individual account and find out why we don't have a particular product or find out why they have two or three different agents involved in their account. Uh, I think everybody would agree one agent's the best way to go because you're eliminating gaps and duplications and coverage. And finally, I want to talk to you about determination. Determination will decide who you're going to be in the insurance business. Insurance is a business. The harder you work, the more you get out of it. And I decided when I got into this business, I was going to put everything I had into it every day. And with that being said, I've been fortunate enough to build a very nice book of business in what I consider a short amount of time. Um, but the idea of being direct, having a plan, being focused, being, an intention, being intentional, it's got to happen. Don't just run out there with your hands kind of sticking out, wondering what you, know, you can grab a hold of. Specifically, go after accounts. Find out how to get in front of the right people and you will be successful in this business. Thank you for your time, and I hope you find these points helpful.